Google's new AI image model Gemini 2.5 Flash, aka Nano Banana, has continued to amaze me since its release. If you're not aware yet, it has solved the problem of creating long videos with consistent characters using VO3. We used to get error messages preventing us from uploading real human faces when creating VO3 videos, but with Nano Banana, this is now a thing of the past. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I took a photo of this woman and created a short film with the same character, same face, and same outfit. You can of course change your character's outfit if you want. Check out this short film. Why now, after all this time? I just, I just needed to say I'm sorry. Sorry won't fix what you broke. You look like you needed this more than me. <laughs> Thank you, really. Sometimes forgiveness isn't about them. It's about freeing yourself. We thought you'd never come out again. <laughs> New chapter, starting tonight. Before we dive in, if you find tutorials like this useful, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future step-by-step -step guides. We'll start with the movie script. Let's head over to ChatGPT to get some ideas. In ChatGPT, I said, I want to create a movie featuring a woman. There will be five scenes that are eight seconds long and I'll be using Google VO3 to create the videos. I want the second scene to be a continuation of the first. In some scenes, I want her to interact with other people. You are to give me the actions of the woman, the dialogue, details of the scene background, colors, camera angle, and movement. Give ChatGPT as much detail as possible. Tell it what you're looking for. It will work with what you give it. If you leave anything out, simply prompt it and it will make any changes that you want. ChatGPT created the scenes for me. It gave me the background and colors, camera angle and movement, action and dialogue for the scenes. Next up, we need to get the image of our main character. You're either going to create a new character from scratch by describing the look that you want from head to toe and use an image generator such as Midjourney, ChatGPT, or any other one that you prefer or you can use an image you already have. I'll be using this photo that I already have as my base image. As you can see, it is in a portrait aspect ratio and I want to create a landscape video for YouTube. At the moment, we cannot control the aspect ratio when using Nano Banana in either Gemini or LM Arena. So taking this image as it is and editing it will just give me an image with the same dimensions. To fix this, I have to get it to the aspect ratio that I want before editing it. I'll use Canva to sort it out. In Canva, once logged in, click on Create on the left and put the aspect ratio that you want. I'll go with 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is the same as 16 by 9. Then click Create New Design. I'm going to upload my image, position it in the center, then download it. I'm now ready to start creating my movie scenes. I'll be using the Ella Marina website. I prefer this site over the Gemini website as my images won't have a watermark. Go to lmarina.ai. When you get here, click the drop down menu at the top and select direct chat. Then click this drop down menu and select Gemini 2.5 Flash. This is how we can use Nano Banana for free and without having a watermark. Since we'll be editing images, select the image icon here. I'm going to drag and drop this image that I downloaded from Canva here. Then go to chat GPT Copy the prompt for the first scene and come and paste it here. Since this is an image of a woman, I can just say woman. There's no need to specify what she looks like or what she's wearing unless I intend on changing her outfit. In this case, I'm only describing the scene where this woman is sitting. So the prompt is, woman sits in a cozy cafe interior, rainy street visible through large window, warm golden lights inside contrasting with cold blue rain outside, wooden tables, soft glow of hanging lamps. It's given me a picture of the woman, but I forgot that I want her to have her cell phone next to her cup of coffee. I'll update the prompt to be more specific. I've now included that her phone is next to her cup of coffee. This is what I'm looking for. I'm happy with this image. This second scene is going to be a continuation of the first. I'm going to create the video of the first scene, then pick up the second scene from the last frame. 
Let's head over to Google Flow where we will be creating our VO3 video. I'm going to labs.google. I've set this at VO3 fast and I'm going to change this to frames to video. Click the plus sign and upload my image. I'm going to copy the prompt from ChatGPT and paste it here. Let me play you the video it generated. Why now, after all this time? This very last frame will be my starting frame for the second scene. You can extract the last scene in two ways. Either use a video editor like CapCut or use an online final frame extractor website. I'll go for CapCut. In CapCut, select the very last frame, click on these three lines up here and select Export Still Frames. Choose where you'll save your image, resolution, and format. I'll go with PNG, then Export. Now I'm going to create the second scene. Back in Google Flow, I'm going to repeat the same process. Change this to frames to video. Upload the last frame I just downloaded and paste the prompt from ChatGPT. And here's the continuation of the clip. I just, I just needed to say I'm sorry. Sorry won't fix what you broke. Moving on to the third scene, I want it to have the same aesthetic as the first and second scenes. The woman will be stepping out of the coffee shop. I don't want it to look like she has just stepped out of a completely different place. To keep the consistency in style transfer, I'm going to edit this image that I used to create the first scene. I said, woman with disturbed look on her face steps out of cafe, raining outside. And this is what it gave me. It's raining outside. It's the same woman wearing the same clothes. You can see the inside of the coffee shop. It's like where she was just sitting. The scene, the lighting, the chairs are similar to those in the image edited. We can really see Nano Banana outshining other AI image editors. This looks like a continuation from the previous scene. Let's wrap up the other two scenes. I used the base image to create the image for the fourth scene, which starts off with the woman standing at the rooftop. Then I decided to change her clothes in the last scene. I copied the prompts from ChatGPT and created VO3 videos. To complete everything, I stitched the scenes in CapCut and added transitions. The final clip flows like this. Why now, after all this time? I just, I just needed to say I'm sorry. Sorry won't fix what you broke. You look like you needed this more than me. <laughs> Thank you, really. Sometimes forgiveness isn't about them. It's about freeing yourself. We thought you'd never come out again. <laughs> New chapter, starting tonight. <laughs>